Okay, just a quick uh, update. Uh, I've been using these uh, contraptions above my colonies during winter. It gives me a place to put fondant and my pollen patties. So the dimensions here make it so it fits inside uh, a medium or a uh, like a, a standard uh, poly box or pretty much any uh, beehive box. Uh, so what it does, so what this does is allows me to, to feed during winter and then I stack uh, styrofoam above this. Uh, this wood here does create some condensation in a cold bridge and it's kind of clunky and uh, annoying. So f my first iteration a couple years ago was, this was actually about six inch thick. And it was full of uh, wood shavings, so like chicken, uh, like chicken wood shavings for bedding and stuff. Uh, then I moved to burlap bags full of uh, chicken shavings or pine shavings, and then I last year I just went with styrofoam because it would just absorb some moisture, and then uh, it's it's not a very good insulator. So I went to styrofoam inserts uh and then you can see there there is they still did fairly well and they do well uh but i'm just trying to simplify and make things as easy as possible so new iteration is i'm scrapping these uh this was low profile and what i'm doing now is here's one of those styrofoam inserts that i've i have a bunch of these now uh it fits inside a a box i'll just grab a box up here okay so i'll just put it on my my saw so what this does is the styrofoam fits perfectly inside of my boxes and it's it pretty much goes all the way down and I had those inserts, which are shimmed just above uh, the top bars. And it would create like like R30, R40 above the cluster. So what I'm doing now to eliminate those uh, wooden contraptions uh, up there is, and to reduce the, uh, I guess the, the bridging, the thermal bridging, is i've got plenty of these so i'm going to cut out i built myself a little frame that i'll insert inside the styrofoam so i'll cut this out uh here's a pollen patty so what i did is pollen patty can be squeezed in there uh i can put fondant in uh the size of the hardware cloth isn't as long as bees can get through i had these uh, to protect some of my shrubs from uh, voles so i'm just reusing materials uh this is just ripped one by four so basically on my saw here my table saw i just rip some uh, one by fours uh and what i'll do is i'll rip uh, some shims uh bars that i'll place on top of the top bars in the top box so that this doesn't sit right on the the top of the box but it'll be probably three eighths half inch above and what i'm going to do is i'm either going to tape this uh with uh, some type of tape so the bees can't chew through it or i'll actually probably cut out a little piece of plywood i've got uh, a one eighth uh, board or quarter inch board and that should uh, do it so basically this is just one by four with some brad nails in the end uh, a little bit of hardware cloth stapled onto the back and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use my uh my box knife my olaf and i'll cut it for this and then i'll slide it in there i'll compress fit it in it there so i won't cut it too loose so that there's a nice fit in there and i might use some construction glue just uh, some wood glue just to hold it together but uh it should work out and uh it's just a way of uh of reducing thermal bridging and simplifying my setup and then you'll notice that 
I don't really feed fondant uh, at this time of year or to get the bees ready for winter. So what I'll be able to do is just put in a piece of two by four that sits like that and I can just use pliers to pull it up and it'll plug it up. I'll just seal this with uh, some cloth, some wool or something and uh, it should keep it warm. And then I'll stack non cut out uh, sheets. I'll probably use deeps this year. So I'll be able to put uh, probably our another three, another six inches of styrofoam above it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut it and then I'll uh, bring the video back. Okay, I got it done and I taped it up. Uh, so again, you can see how it's just a two by four. So uh, pollen patty is the same width, it's three and a half inches by 12 inches. And then you just build a little uh, two inch frame if you use a uh, two inch styro. Uh, and then over here, for example, if I do that, basically I can just pull it out. Uh, this will be wedged in in the winter into the hot top of the hive because uh, I don't want to feed. I'll put some, some three eighths half inch shims that I made on the top bars of the top box. I'll put this on top uh, like that. And then you can throw on either medium, depending on how much insulation you want. Uh, I want more than less. You'll see how it, it fits in perfectly. There's a nice gap underneath here for the bees. Uh, pollen patty goes there if you want to add one or your, your fondant. And what it does now is it's completely surrounded by styrofoam. I've taped the edges so that uh, the bees can't chew it. Uh, this goes like this, snug. And then for example, this is a deep box. So technically I can stack, see how it's pretty tight. I can stack uh, probably another three, so I can put lots of insulation on top of my colonies. Uh, I have enough for for uh, 11 colonies. I've had up to 11 colonies, so basically I've got plenty of these cut up already, and they slide in. And this is how I'm going to get my uh, tops super insulated. And I guess, again, table saw is handy. Some nice little shims, nothing too complicated. Uh, and uh, yeah, there's my new design, much simpler. So uh, with a bit of tinkering, I'd say it probably take, took me about 15 minutes to make. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll uh, pre-cut everything. So I could probably build four that I need in uh, probably half an hour to 45 minutes. So which is uh, not too, too bad. If you tape it, store it properly, it'll last uh, a long time. And by putting tuck tape, so this uh, vapor barrier tape on top, you're actually sealing all the seams. So you'll be reducing the heat loss even more. And what I'll do is, again, I'll, I'll stuff some material in here. Uh, probably some cloth of some type on top of here to, to add some insulation. Uh, wood is good. Uh, one thing about wood, it will expand because uh, it will absorb some moisture. So it might get tight. So your tolerance is here. You might uh, want a bit looser. Uh, but uh, yeah, hopefully it works. And the other thing you can do is just cut up a piece of styrofoam and use that as your insert and just make sure you tape it up so the bees don't chew it up. 